Welcome to this Avengers War Table Deep Dive Hawkeye Future Imperfect DLC recap. And then I'm going to also talk about a little bit about the game uh, itself. I'm excited for this. And we also got our date for the DLC and the, the next gen upgrade that's going to be completely free on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Now, if you're like me, you haven't probably played this game in a while. I already played and finished the Kate Bishop DLC. That was the last time I played this game. So I thought I'd just do a video as I discuss it. And share with you guys all the different updates and all the things that's coming soon. So I didn't grind the characters out. I'll just show y'all. I'm already done with the story basically. But um see so like those different poses. It's pretty cool. But everything I mentioned is gonna be in the description of the video. But uh I just thought I'd just do it like this so you guys can just be able to just chillax and check out the um the video yourself. I can also link y'all with it so if y'all want to check it out. Because Hawkeye has a lot of different abilities. Now uh, this story was great. I really liked the story. And I, me personally, I enjoyed it for what it is, but I just didn't grind out the characters, so I just thought I'd do it, do the video this way. But, um, I'm excited for the next gen upgrade uh, that they showcased at the start of the, uh, the video because I'm one, I might end up actually playing the game all over again just to see the differences, play a little bit and see how much it changed and how it runs. Maybe it's not going to be as glitchy. It's probably going to run even better on the PlayStation 5, because I already played it. I already basically played the, the game in full. But um, let's talk about what they showed. So we got our PS5 upgrade date along with the release date of this DLC for the Future Imperfect uh, coming soon for March 18th. So if you already have this game on PS4, you'll be able to upgrade it, upgrade to the, the next-gen version completely free without having to pay extra money. So uh, outside of that, they talked about the two versions of uh, Hawkeye. It's going to be Old Man Hawkeye helping out and having some kind of special role in the story. And then you're also going to be playing as a uh, young young Hawkeye, uh, apparently, from what we uh, saw from the video itself. Uh, Lucky's going to be making an appearance. The dog themselves uh, that show that showcase that was showcased in the video. Um, Hawk is looking completely different. He looks super old, but now nah, it's not the Hawk anymore. It's Maestro, basically. And uh, I think we're probably going to be able to get access to his skin. I think that's probably going to... I'm not sure how much that's going to cost. Um, I'm sure that's not going to be a free skin. <laughs> Maestro Hawk, um, which they said is from an alternate future, that's also going to be helping Hawkeye in the Future Imperfect DLC story. And they showcase the new future Wastelands region where we'll be able to do missions, uh, part of the Avengers initiative that you guys will be able to check out. I'm also going to just drop the link for y'all in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself to see what you guys think and maybe you guys might want to re-download the game in anticipation get back into the game or maybe even buy the game yourself and even if you want to wait till the ps5 version comes out that's completely fine or you want to just get the old version you can just play it right now play it through and then you can just get upgrade for free without having to worry about trying to spend 70 dollars on it all over again but um after the Wastelands, Future Wastelands region was showcased, they, uh, they end up wrapping it up with Clint's ability. So I'm going to have a list of them for you guys here of what sort of 10 different arrows that he has access to. He has a lot more abilities than Kate. He seems a little bit um, better than her in regards to what he can do. But um, as you can see on my screen, I just didn't level her up all the way. Like some of you guys are probably really maxed out, all maxed out, and your power levels are probably way above mine <laughs> but as for Clint's abilities I'm going to talk about them right now for the 10 different arrows that they showcase um his quick draw reflexes that they uh, showcased in the video dead eye skill and then now for the different arrows the grapple arrow boomerang the implosion trip wire shots rocket arrows pulsar arrows night star arrows recovery arrows and then this ultimate heroic technique called the hunter's bow that you can upgrade to shoot up to two different shots and then you can different you can you can change up the stats where you want to just upgrade its damage to focus enemies and so on if you play this by yourself or anything like that you can just do it how you want to and upgrade it uh, how you want to for his uh, ultimate heroic skill and then they talked about the new cosmetics and emotes that's going to also be available for purchase if you guys want to I don't know if I'm going to buy the cosmetics as good as they look. I haven't even bought any sort of skin in this game. And uh, for playing from someone who played this game from the beta that I enjoy, um, 
I thought we'd be able to earn some of these the currencies like this, the credits and stuff like that from just playing the missions, but they want you to buy them basically for the, the skills or for the cosmetics and the emotes. They look cool and all, but I don't think I'm probably going to buy them. I'm just going to probably just play the, the DLC story and just see how it is and just play it in full, just like I did with Kate Bishop and just go from there. But, um, I want to see them add more to the game. I thought we were going to, I thought, um, we were going to get like a teaser, but we didn't get anything else. Like a teaser for Black Panther, who apparently was supposed to be the, apparently is supposed to be the next character that they add to this game. But I want to see more of, uh, some content get added for more heroes. We still got to get Spider-Man. If you're on PlayStation, you get Spider-Man completely free, but, um, there's no sort of news as far as that goes, but, all these different cosmetics that you have, look, fourteen hundred. They're like fourteen dollars, as good as they look. You know, you gotta buy all. You gotta spend all those uh, credits to just buy credits to get these cosmetics. They look good though. See, different previews and all. So just like we have for Kate Bishop, we're gonna have cosmetics, a good variety of cosmetics for uh, Clint or Hawkeye. But uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think about it. But that was basically all the news that they really showcased. And we got our release date. But just like I mentioned, I think I'll probably check out the PS5 upgrade of the game. And then also play a little bit of the Hawkeye DLC all into one. And see how it runs and see how it looks to really be able to tell the difference. Seeing new changes and uh, the graphics and all that stuff. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And if you guys are excited about this... Uh, this DLC for March 18th. So we're going into the future for the Avengers on that date. And then maybe you guys might want to get back into the game and your opinions of what you guys might think they should add next. But sadly, no teasers like I was anticipating going towards the end. At first, I thought they weren't going to give us like the release date, but it's the same day as the, um, the upgrade for next year. But it's still it's a good game, but it's just lacking. But I'm sure once heroes like Spider-Man, Black Panther, and maybe as they add more characters, people will probably get back into the game. But I'm definitely going to check it out March 18th and then also check out the new new gen upgrade and see what that like with what, what that's like and just go from there. But um, I'm looking forward to playing with uh, Hawkeye. So I was hoping to come out this month, but at least we got something to look forward to by March.